Redundancy is key though, right? You want to think like the scientific method when you're flying, right? Everything's a hypothesis until you can prove it true via some independent source and then, then you can believe it and act on it. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to The Finer Points. In this video, we're watching Joe's fourth instrument flight lesson. If you've been following along, you watched us do a point-to-point -point real world in the system flight, then we worked on basic attitude instrument flying, then we worked on the Oscar pattern and tracking courses. And if you wanna see all of that, by the way, and follow along all the way through the rating, please visit patreon.com slash learn TFP. But in this video, what we're working on is how to visualize your position on round dials. This is like old school stuff when a moving map's not available, but this will really, really help you fly needles. It's always true, and here's how it works. I keep talking about Richard today. I don't know what it is, maybe he's in my brain, but Richard would always tell me there's no such thing as reverse sensing because what's always true here is that you're heading, you can find it on the outside of the case, so this is the way you're flying right now. If you're flying this way, like this, on a heading of 070, which way would you turn to go get that needle? To the right. To the right, yeah? Yep. So go ahead and turn right. Now you're turning to, let's go to a heading of east, okay? Now you're turning like this to a heading of east, flying to that yeah, needle. Yeah, intercept angle to get to that needle. Right. And my main thing that I want you to kind of ingrain today, or just start to really get comfortable with, is your heading, whatever it is, is always, you can always see yourself as flying toward that number on this case. Okay, yeah, we're heading east, so we're over here heading right towards Right, so area. you would expect that needle to come back in, right? Yep. Now, the equipment manufacturer said, well, this is a bit confusing, so why don't we make it such that if Joe flips it, you know, from top to bottom, with the two, especially now it'll do with the two, and now it'll all make sense to him because now he can see he's flying toward that needle real easy, right? Yep. But you get how you're heading is always taking you toward the needle, right? I do. Okay, great. So that's the first step. Let's take it up a notch. You could be flying glass or round dials for this visualization, but consider how you might actually see holding patterns and the proper entry right on your heading indicator. Were you able to look into holding patterns at all? That's the last yeah. thing we're gonna talk about today, okay. Um, then, good, while we yeah, track these needles. Pretty confusing. Yeah, it seems that way, I know. Um, let me introduce the procedure and we're, while we're doing this, I'm just gonna ask that you continue to track that course. That's the only real task you have. Okay. okay. So you shouldn't feel too saturated right now. This is something that you and I can practice at home. Uh, this is, the app's called Sketch, and all you need to practice holding pattern entries is a picture of a heading indicator. When you visualize holding patterns, the fix is always in the middle, and your airplane is always at the bottom, which makes sense, right? If I could redraw this, I would change that. I wouldn't put that in the middle. But anyway, let's imagine there's some station in front of us. And if I ask you to hold northwest of the station on the 330 radial with left turns, what I would want you to see is, well, he wants me northwest. So if I fly in toward the fix and make a left turn, there's my pattern. I'm northwest of the station. The station's in the middle. I fly in to the to the station, and then I make my, my racetrack. It's left turns. Left turns. Do you see that holding pattern on I there? Do. Great. Now, looking at that holding pattern, there's three possible entries. There's one called a direct entry. There's one called a teardrop entry, and there's one called a parallel. Does any, do those make sense yep, at yep, all? Yep, I read about those. So, based on what you just visualized there, do you have any sense of which one of those you would do? Uh, this looks like the... Um not the teardrop. What oh, is the teardrop? No, the uh, parallel. Now, now keep in mind the the. Let me let me uh, say this too because this will hopefully stick. Teardrop. Oh, we're making left turns. Yeah. Okay, I was picturing it over here. Right. But with that. And what you just correct? Yeah. The teardrop would be good. If it was right here, turns. And then you come here and then you make right turns. If it was right turns, right, you were okay, correct. So left left turns, parallel. So we're going to come in here, parallel it, then do this little loop. And then make our left turns. Yeah, we kind of we, we, we cross it, and then we turn right to parallel it, and yeah. then we just get on it. The only difference between a teardrop and a parallel is the direction of turn. 
You just figured that out. Now, the next thing that I would have you do is say, okay, if that's true, let me prove it to myself, and I'm gonna teach you a thing called the thumb method. The thumb method, um, it's somewhat arbitrary, so I simply use it for redundancy to verify that what I guessed is correct. Um, or if I'm really in a pinch and I'm, I'm really you know struggling and I'm, I'm behind the airplane then I might do it redundancy is key though right you want to think like the scientific method when you're flying right everything's a hypothesis until you can prove it true via some independent source and then then you can believe it and act on it so the way it works is you put your left thumb up for left hand patterns right thumb up for right hand patterns and simply visualize a 70 degree line kind of coming down over your thumb and if your outbound heading falls under your thumb it's a direct entry if it falls over your thumb it's a teardrop and opposite your thumb on the top is a parallel like I said it's a little bit arbitrary there's no real visualization going on there it's just feed the machine the data and and get the answer so the way I would recommend using it is visualize the entry on your heading indicator guess at it use your thumb to verify that you're correct and then think in front of the airplane using the five T's when I get there there will be a turn there will be a time there will be a twist always to my inbound course there will be a throttle back to holding speed and a report time and altitude entering the hold so all five T's at a holding pattern put your thumb up here if the heading is out here it's parallel so that's been checked and then we get ahead when we get to the fix it's going to be a right turn to a heading of 300 we're going to start timer for a minute twist the inbound course of 120 and so on you can practice this with just a heading indicator you can do a skype session with your cfi um, in fact if you can't run through that process before you get in the airplane you're not going to be able to do it in the airplane so you might as well sit down and do it at a table right just make up some headings make up some holding pattern instructions um, and by the if you want to do like a nerd deep dive on this topic that's what I'm doing when I finish recording this and it's gonna be a bonus video on patreon this week all right aviators that's all for this video I hope you got a lot out of it and I hope you're going to come to patreon support the finer points and watch Joe go all the way through his instrument rating patreon.com slash learn TFP also come to learn the finer points.com and I will give you a free video a huge thanks to the sponsors for their support of this show. When you renew with AOPA, make sure that you select Pilot Protection Services. You can go directly to it if you go to aopa.org slash membership. Also to JPI, the best engine monitor online at jpinstruments.com. Join us for Airplane Camp 2020. Registrations are open and I think all the trips are about half full. So if that's on your bucket list and you're thinking about joining us, please come and leave a deposit to reserve your spot. And also a huge thanks to you, the best fans on the internet for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share far and wide with your friends. And until next time, be safe and fly your best.